What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the real Jossie of The Distorted Theorists and today we have an interview with Introduce Yourself to the Crowd. <laughs> my name is Sarah. Online I go by Villanare. That's my cosplay name. Nice. I am a cosplayer and a streamer and I've been doing cosplay for about 11 years now, which is crazy. So you're a streamer. Yes. Um, Twitch you said just before we got on the air, yes. we call it. Um, so what do you do on Twitch? What's some of your favorite games that you play on there or whatever you do? Um, so I do a lot of different games, a lot of variety. Uh, I do a lot of Dead by Daylight and horror games. Ooh because I love scaring the living daylights out of myself. <laughs> like you would. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Bioware games, so I do Dragon Age, Mass Effect, as well as a lot of Final Fantasy. Okay. And Ooh, uh, Final Fantasy, now you're speaking my language. Absolutely. I'm gonna ask you though, right quick, just before we get into any other question, this is gonna know if we're friends or not. Okay. What is your favorite Final Fantasy and you're not allowed to say seven? Well, there goes my answer. <laughs> um, Okay, if I can't say seven, then 13 or 10. Oh, 10, I'll take it, yes. Okay, five, double excellent. Five. All right. Let's go. Uh, I'm a big uh, fan of number 10. It like was a game changer Absolutely. for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Titus, and I never could play, I keep forgetting the name, the kickball in the water. Blitzball. Blitzball, there Blitzball. you go. Blitzball. I never, I was like, I'm not doing this, not going at it. <laughs> uh, but that's a different story for a different day. So. I, I'll be honest, not familiar with her cosplay, so please tell us what are you dressed as here today? Uh, so this is Asuka Langley from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, okay. I wore this one today because her voice actress, Tiffany Grant, is actually right, right over, over there. there. Um, um, so I figured it was appropriate. Yeah. Uh, so what is the character? Like, like good girl, bad girl, guy, what um, about uh, powers, yeah. any powers? Is it storytelling? So she operates an Ava unit, so basically this big giant robot she gets in and connects to it and operates it. That sounds dope. Um, it's, it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> um, she's very, very sassy and bossy, but she definitely has like kind of like a traumatic backstory, so a whole lot going on. Okay, so <laughs> um, I guess what made you choose this cosplay and like where does it fit in the world of all the cosplays you've ever done? Like how um, many? So a lot of the cosplays I do are like my characters that are like my favorite characters and things okay. or characters that I relate to. In this case, it's both. Yeah. I, I found her character to be very relatable and she ended up being my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and then I figured, you know, her voice actress is here. So, so pretty good timing. So, so you've cosplayed for how long? Um, since 2011 was 2011. when I started. So let's say 11 years. Yeah. So what is the biggest obstacle that you have come into since you've been in the cosplay world? What's been well, the hardest thing for you to grasp onto? Probably, honestly, overcoming the expectations I set for myself in cosplay. Yeah. I, for a long time, was like, this has to be perfectly accurate. I have to make every single thing by hand. Right. Uh, it has to be perfect. It has to look like it came right, right out of the screen. Yeah. Um, so I found overcoming that and kind of coming back to the whole point of cosplay, which is to have fun with it, As was it is. Um, kind of an obstacle, but one that I was very glad to, you, you know, hurdle over. Uh, like, and, okay, so let's let's take you out of your personal uh, your your personal experiences. Mm -hmm. Let's say you could just pause that for a second, and you could go and tell a new cosplayer some piece of advice that you think, if they're just starting out, would help them tremendously, and something you wish you had known back when you first started, I guess. Definitely it plays on to like what I just said, but genuinely just yeah. like having fun with it. Yeah. Um, and not like feeling pressure to look perfect or look just like the character. Like don't Very let true. things like your body type or your gender or anything hold you back from yeah. like cosplaying do what you, you want to do. Basically. Yeah. Do you and, and have, like you said, have fun with it. Exactly. I think, I think that's what we're all here to do. That's why we do a YouTube channel, because we have fun with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, put, you get to suit up into a new personality and show people what you're capable of. Definitely. Uh, speaking of what you're capable of, you've been at this for 11, 12 years cosplaying. If you had unlimited money, or let's say a couple thousands of dollars, <laughs> and you had all the means, you had all the tools to do what you wanted to do, what is your dream cosplay that one day you hope to achieve or do? So I have, I have three. I have okay. my top three dream cosplays. So Let number one, uh, Femme Shep from Mass Effect. Okay. That's the ultimate dream. And what is that character? Like a quick, um, quick Female uh, Shepard. She's like the savior of the universe, basically. Big armor do. build, <laughs> guns. <laughs> that'll do. Num number <laughs> um, two. Sylvanas Windrunner from World of Warcraft. Okay. Um, super crazy banshee queen. I never, um, uh, never really dabbled in World of Warcraft, but I know it's a big following. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Definitely. And number and three. Number three is Lulu from again Final Fantasy X. Oh, oh. Um, why am I blanking? Does uh, she have a hammer? Gi no, giant dress with all the belts on the bottom. She has a little moogle. 
mage oh, black hair. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> now, yeah, it's flooding back now. It's yeah. been years since I played it. Uh, I remember Titus and uh, Rondo, Rondo, uh, the, the Kamari. Um, the, the the blue skinned. Uh, oh yes, right? I know exactly who you're talking <laughs> about, and it's it's gone. <laughs> and Yuna, and then there's Yuna, yes. right? Which is yes. the healer, which was deadly to have. Oh yeah. Um, what else? Okay, so let's take the cosplays. Thank you so much for telling us all about that. Of let's course. switch gears to the distorted theorist side of things. What in the world of gaming, cinema, convention, something maybe you're attending or what have you? What are you excited for in the world of gaming and cinema that's coming up in the horizon that you Ooh. can't wait to drop? Um, so not that there's any release date for it yet, but definitely Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two yes. is um, the number one thing I'm looking forward to. The day a trailer drops for that, I'm going to go wild. And you'll come over and watch our trailer reaction, right? Of course, All right, of perfect, course. Perfect. Um, that's probably it. I'm also going to another convention in June in Ontario called YetiCon. So uh, that's going to be super fun. So be on the lookout. What are you wearing at YetiCon? I have no idea. Maybe <laughs> Aerith. Maybe Aerith. Okay, which is? Uh, from Final Fantasy VII. Okay, there you um, go. See, I played that a little bit, but like, again, I know like to see things, but yeah. I don't know names so much. Uh, <laughs> I know that like, like I know there's a, um, I guess a, a saber tooth type thing that transforms yes, and like yes, you know red. this is like <laughs> yeah I, I just never played the whole game so yeah I'm, she's the yeah. pink pink dress yeah. pink spear yeah yeah <laughs> perfect all right thank you so much for joining me today thank you, thank you so much, you so much. it was me. very great to meet you you as well um and we love having people like her on the channel uh so guys if you could hit that subscribe button hit that like button we're still trying to go to the channel and if you check her out on twitch tell your twitch one more time <laughs> uh it's villanare villanare um. <laughs> check it out on twitch we're all trying to grow and we do appreciate your guys the viewers support i am the real jossie of the distorted theorists and like we always say around here keep it real <laughs>